the blue streak speeds by and straight into your Netflix account. A new Sonic series titled Sonic Prime has been slated for release sometime in 2022. And the title alone has already sparked a few fan theories, primarily that of a potential Sonic franchise multiverse. With the spiny blue hedgehog having had so many adaptations over the years and enjoying a resurgence in popularity thanks to his big screen outing, the show seems like a golden opportunity to build on its long, varied history. But how could it go about it? Let's chat for a bit and figure that out. Now, what exactly is it about the title, Sonic Prime, that immediately causes fans to cry multiverse? Well, for one, there's just how often Prime is used to separate a main universe from its many alternates, as often seen in comic books like those at Marvel or DC, or various other reality-jumping media. But there's pretty solid evidence right there in the very announcement of the show. If you take a closer look at the press release statement, it's plainly written that in this 24-episode show, the fate of a strange new multiverse rests in Sonic's gloved hands. I don't know about you, but that sounds like pretty solid confirmation of the idea to me. And it's not like the blue blur is lacking in adaptations to explore in a multiverse setting. Ever since he debuted on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive for people elsewhere in the world back in the early 90s, the popularity of the character and his ensemble cast has led to a vast number of adaptations all across media. From two separate long-running comic book franchises and a third in recent years, five TV shows, a Japanese OVA, a feature-length live-action film, and more games than spines on the average hedgehog's back. There's no shortage of options to choose from for a significantly creative team of writers. Besides, this would hardly be Sonic's first first foray into the idea of multiverses. Not only did the recent movie use the idea, but so did the anime series Sonic X, where he and his friends also end up in the human world. This is without counting the various multiverses found in comic continuities, such as the obligatory evil universe that introduced characters like Scourge, or even the fact that certain game characters, such as Blaze the Cat or Silver the Hedgehog, come from alternate realities and timelines themselves, or that there is a split between classic and modern era Sonic already. Basically, the groundwork is it's all there. Now, the stuff we just mentioned may be a good place to start, but as anyone with base knowledge of the franchise knows, that's simply the tip of the iceberg. The Sonic franchise is positively crawling with colorful characters, and while some from the Archie comics can't be used due to various reasons that could fill out several videos on their own, there are still plenty of options. Fan favorites such as the Freedom Fighters from the beloved Saturday morning cartoon are still fair game and seem like a no-brainer, as do the new and popular characters from the IDW comics, such as Tangle and Whisper, or the villainous Rough and Tumble, Mimic and Dr. Starline, just to bring a few variations to the otherwise endless barrage of Eggbots. Even more obscure or underused characters from across games or comics could be included, giving them a chance to finally actually be developed a little bit. Looking at you, Marine. There is, of course, the option of outright visiting the settings of earlier shows or games, or even adapting some of the more popular story arcs from the series. And while it is probably a stretch to see them represented in their individual original art styles, it opens the doors for many more fun things. A meeting between the wackier cast of the Sonic Boom cartoon and the more straight-faced ones from other adaptations could lead to great meta-comedy, for example. And why stop there? Why not revisit some old Sonic concepts that are generally seen as failed or strange, and try to rework them or at the very least pay homage to the fans that did enjoy them? There are plenty of underutilized villains to expand upon, such as the Deadly Six, and the ever-infamously bizarre cartoon Sonic Underground seems like a prime playground for either self-parody, reinvention, or simply put, homage, given how it tends to get completely ignored elsewhere in the franchise, and is long overdue for a little shout-out. And since he's a fairly prolific cartoon voice actor, there's also the option of giving Sonic's movie actor, Ben Schwartz, a cameo, along with several former Sonic voices, just for the hardcore fans. Frankly, it'd be kind of a shame not to. Now, we can sit here and speculate on these things all day and pass great ideas back and forth to each other. But for now, that's all it is, speculation. It is entirely possible that not a single one of the things so far theorized are gonna happen. But if not, then what would the alternatives be? The obvious one would be for the show to simply make up alternate realities of its own, which would definitely give the writers total freedom and expand the franchise even further, and perhaps be a platform for testing out future ideas for the franchise. But let's try to imagine some other scenarios. 
it wouldn't be entirely impossible for the series to use this multiverse concept as a way to explain the various zones that make up the levels across the game. Seeing how they tend to be highly themed in design and purpose and tend to feel just a little bit disconnected. Who's to say that Casino Zone isn't an entire reality in and of itself? And that Green Hill is just the dimension that Sonic and friends happen to live in? Now, okay, this last one might admittedly be just wishful thinking, but wouldn't it be cool if at least some of the multiverses visited were ones from other Sega franchises? Imagine the delight from fans if they suddenly met up with Knights, Alex Kidd, or Super Monkey Ball, but maybe not Golden Axe. That would be kind of violent, and definitely not Yakuza either. Now, this idea is definitely unlikely, but oh well, we can dream. Regardless of whether or not Sonic Prime decides to go for its multiverse approach, or if those universes are old, familiar ones, or new, exciting ones, one thing is for sure. Our prickly hero has shown many times that he knows how to deliver high-speed action, and it's going to be an exciting watch for all of his fans.